What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for part 3 of the Q&A. You know the rules, anonymous questions first. If you want to ask an anonymous question, youtube.com slash messages is the way to do it. But if you want your question to be public, then just post it in the comments below. Anyways, let's begin. In Q&A part 3, can you make me anonymous? Okay. Trump or Hillary? <laughs> I'm going to limit myself to only a minute when answering this one because I don't want to, this entire video to be a Trump versus Clinton debate. So the minute starts now. So at first when it was down to Trump versus Clinton, I was one of those people who are like, America's doomed no matter what. But because this is the first election where I'm actually old enough to vote myself and make a difference, I decided to research so I didn't make a wrong choice. And holy cow, Trump is not a bad guy. The media is honestly extremely biased. When Trump says this election may be rigged, he's not being a baby. There's actual video proof and proven fact that it is being tampered with. Voter fraud, all that stuff. If you don't believe me, here's an example. Not too long ago, leaked emails show that the DNC and Hillary referred to blacks and Mexicans, or Latinos, as super predators and tacos. And then barely anyone cares. Then Trump, over a decade ago, says grab her by the pussy and everyone's like, ah! And then they call Trump racist when Hillary and the DNC are the ones that referred to blacks and Latinos as super predators and tacos. And if you actually go look at Trump's policies, they're all really good. Look, Trump may have said and done a lot of stupid and dumb things in the past, but Hillary has done a bunch of downright evil and diabolical things in the past, and she's still doing them to this very day. Don't listen to those Trump memes that tell you he's evil, and don't trust Hillary. Well, it seems like my minute's up. Next question. That one gamer dude 24 asks, who would win, Sonic EXE or Chara? Chara? Kara? I don't know her. I don't do this meme creepy pasta stuff. That's Animation Rewind's job. Question number two. Am I going to get more animators for season two? Yes! I did an update video for my channel uh, two days ago. You can check it out if you want to hear more info on Fictional Fight Season 2. If I used Ed from Ed's World, who would I make him fight? Uh, I, I don't know. See, this is why I, in the first q and I put rules like no fight suggestions or asking me who would win because I can't answer them right away. Duster the Master Thief asks, what's my favorite game genre? I grew up really, really liking 3D platformers, you know, Crash, Spyro, Mario, and all that. But lately, I've definitely been way more into fighting games for the past couple years. The amount of skill and precision they require is just intriguing. So it does become quite addicting when you win a fight, and that's why I like fighting games. Question number two, will Earthbound characters ever make it to fictional fights? Yes. Question number three, what is my favorite boss battle ever? I really like the Evil Twins final boss in Crash Twin Sanity. Yeah, I know it's easy, but it has a lot of nostalgia and stuff, and so, yeah, that one. Christian B asks, what are some of my favorite YouTubers? I guess my favorite kind would have to be, like, reviewers of cartoons and video games that are funny. Like, I like Rebel Taxi, JonTron, Nostalgia Critic, Angry Video Game Nerd. Those definitely have to be my favorite. Question number two, which fighter would I never use? As long as they're not memes, there's not really any characters in fictional fights that I actually ban, but there are lots of them that are unlikely to happen. Like characters from things that I really don't like and I tend to find cringy whenever I try and research them, like Fairy Tail, Soul Eater, Ruby, you know, that stuff. Question number three, if I could dye my hair any other color that's not white, what would it be? I didn't dye my hair white, I was born this way! Question number four, what are some of the dumbest fight requests that I've ever got? Well, that Sonic EXE versus Chara thing earlier was pretty lousy. Kian the Game Hunter asks, My least favorite Tekken character. Definitely Christy. Not just because she's a capital, but she also does nothing and has no personality. Why does she even exist? Number two, if I had three wishes, what would I wish for? I'd wish that I knew how to animate. I wish for unlimited pizza bagels, and I wish that I could give Ego Raptor a high five. Least favorite Avenger? I don't know, Thor I guess? I just never found Thor that interesting. Gara of the Saiyan asks, what is my favorite fight in the Naruto series? It has to be the one in the last Naruto movie where they're fighting on the moon and just one punches him and creates a gigantic crater. It's, it's crazy. Question number two, who is my main in Super Smash Brothers? Like I said before, this is a four-way tie between Little Mac, Ryu, Bayonetta, and Pac-Man. I have no way of choosing who, who's my absolute main. They change depending on the day, I guess. Question number three, what episode did I have the most fun with? Probably Akuma vs. Ganondorf, because everything just went so smoothly with that fight. Everything was on time, everything went well, we got our first animation in the series. I mean, yeah, I animated some fights too before that, but I mean our first good animation. Scott Kirkwood asks, what is my opinion on children's show characters being used in versus debates? Like super children's shows like Lazy Town and Sesame Street and stuff. Well, it'd definitely be weird and awkward researching for them, that's for sure. <laughs> Number two, why have there been no comic book characters in season one? I actually have a good answer for this one. It's definitely because of my visual impairment. Uh, because of my eye issues, I cannot read for a long period of time. 
or else they get strained and start hurting and I'm just like, ugh, and I get a headache. And with stuff like manga, it's usually translated into the anime well most of the time, so I don't miss any information f just from watching the anime. But animated adaptations of comic books aren't quite as accurate. <laughs> so I can research for a comic book character, but it'll just take an extra long time. Question number three, favorite animal? Pandas! Kyle Bird asks, uh, Kyle, Kyle Baird, not Bird. <whistles> Kyle Bird. <whistles> ah! Ooh, ooh, ah! Sorry about that. Anyways, Kyle Baird asks, What do you like better, TF2 or Overwatch? I was overhyped about Overwatch way back when it first came out. Well, not way back because it was earlier this year, but you know what I mean. But, of course, I quickly came back to TF2 because Overwatch does not have that much replayability or staying value. There's really not much stuff to do there. It's just kind of meh. So TF2 is definitely better in my opinion. Mario Ninja 190 asks, Which episode of Fictional Fights am I the least proud of? Probably Steven vs. Dipper, because the terrible drawings, I don't know, I just did- No wait, Mario vs. Sonic, actually. That one was bad. No, yeah. I, I can't decide, there are- There's like the unholy trinity of fictional fights episodes. Saitama vs. Goku, Mario vs. Sonic, and Steven vs. Dipper. Saitama vs. Goku and Steven vs. Dipper are wrong. Mario vs. Sonic is still right, but it was just very poorly done episode. It was- ugh. Question number two, what is my favorite video game series aside from Tekken? <sighs> Crash Bandicoot. Question number three, what is my favorite versus series besides my own? Definitely a tie between Cartoon Fight Club and Battle Royale because the people behind it are so nice and both shows have really good production value. Gumball aka Jimmy Neutron asks, will I ever use broken characters, like characters who can survive falls from skyscrapers but then get hurt by a simple slap? Yeah, it's called Kero. That would pretty much be classified as Toon Force and yeah, I'd use it. Question number two, favorite movie based off a game? Video game movies have really not had a good track record. Ratchet and Clank was actually the very first movie where I've ever fallen asleep. I'm not even kidding. It was so slow and boring. I don't think I've ever seen any good ones, so I can't really choose a favorite. Question number three, favorite Cartoon Network show? Definitely regular show, but since it's ending, I guess Ma Mighty Magiswords, because that's a really good cartoon that started recently. So yeah. Robert Roman asks, have I ever heard of Versus? Y yes Question number two. What would I do for a Kodak bar? What? C isn't Kodak like a camera company? Jeez, who was the pothead that typed your questions? Question number three. What's my favorite animation? I like DreamWorks animation. Like, Sony's a bit too bouncy, but Disney's a bit too hard trying to be realistic, but DreamWorks is a nice balance in the middle, so I guess I like DreamWorks. One Slick Hero asks, what's something that I hate that everyone else loves? Moon pies, they're gross and nasty and mushy and ick. Something I love but everyone else hates. Tuna casserole. Most people are like, ew, tuna's gross, ugh. But I love me some tuna. I'll eat tuna any day. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Tuna salad, tuna sandwich. I love me some tuna. Nocturne Bro asks, who's my favorite YouTuber? Hmm, I can't choose. Rebel Taxi. Question number two. If I could reboot any franchise, which one would it be? Mmm, Spider-Man. I'd reboot it and reboot it and reboot it and reboot it until it's eventually good. Please, I want Spider-Man to be good. I love Spidey. It needs to be quality. Question number three. Do I have a waifu? <laughs> yes, but I'm not telling you who. Don Works asks, favorite Crash game? It's a tie between Nitro Kart and Twin Sanity. Nitro Kart because I have nostalgia with that one. I used to play it with my siblings all the time. But to insanity, I've just played in 100% that game so many times, I cannot believe it. I just keep going back to it. To insanity is so good. Question number two. Will I ever use an RPG character like Sora or Ness? <laughs> Maybe. Question number three. Do I think the Sonic series is dead? <laughs> is the sky blue? Sonic is so dead that it's having to rely on its old self to stay relevant. Classic Sonic is like an eternal crutch for them now. Like Project 17, that upcoming game. They're like, it's not Generations 2, it's not Generations 2, but it has Classic Sonic and I just heard that they're using classic and modern stages in it. It is Generations 2, whether they want it to be or not. 16Bit2D asks, have I ever heard of the gorillas? Are you kidding me? I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I love that song and the gorillas as a whole. Uh, they have to be in my top three favorite bands. Like, b behind Aerosmith, but ahead of, um, um, uh, Offspring. Number two, what is my favorite Pokemon? Lucario! Number three, what is my favorite YouTuber? I already answered that. 
Uh, man. Stop asking the same questions, people. Gengar Gamer asks, Do I think Pokemon and versus debates are a good idea? Yeah, I'm sure you could incorporate their stats into the battle, too. Like their weaknesses and strengths against other Pokemon could incorporate well against other opponents, too, not just Pokemon. And question number two. Can I answer this because your birthday is today? No. 